Good morning, Americans. This is your favorite alien speaking on uh, Tuesday, January 8th. And my friend Bubba here, well, it's, you know, 7.42 in the morning here in Georgia. Not too bad, 40-something degrees. Uh, sun hasn't come out yet. But I wanted to do a special video today since President Trump is speaking... Or making an address later on tonight, I wish to make mine early this morning so that you have something to compare to. Like I said, this is your favorite alien from Georgia, and the address today I'm going to call it uh, the wall address, is what I'm going to call it. And as you see, Baba and I live in a what you call senior citizen community with a wall. Well, I'll talk about this wall in later videos, but today I'm going to make an analogy so that you Americans understand when President Trump is talking what the problem is going to be. Okay. In my numerous videos that I've done, I've compared you to the Roman Empire. You guys have the same parallels going around with the Roman Empire. And President Trump has hit one right on the money with his wall. Give you a little background. In AD 117, Rome hit its highest zenith. It will get no bigger, it will get no stronger. It was at the height of its power in 117 AD. That was also the year that Emperor ha uh, Trajan died and Emperor ha Hadrian took over. Now, what's the meaning of that, you say? Well, Emperor Trajan was the end of the Roman Empire. Before the, him, and uh, up to him, Rome used to occupy territory and plunder, and used to plunder money to finance itself. After that, Hadrian, who took over, understood that there was no more plunder to be had, and the empire was already too big to, man to manage. And he had a problem in Britain because he had the Scots. They were giving him problems in the northern border. Like, you know, the southern border of the United States. But if you realize the border of the Roman Empire at the time, the border where Hadrian eventually built its wall uh, is small compared to the rest of the borders. And look at the border with the United States and Mexico. You got a bigger border in Canada, and then you got the big ocean that surrounds the U.S. on the West Coast and the East Coast and the Gulf Coast. So you got a lot of border there, right? Okay. And the problem that Hadrian understood was, okay, we got to maintain what we got, which is probably what Trump is trying to say. We got to maintain what we got. But both leaders didn't understand. Okay. The Scots didn't want to invade, you know, and the problem was that uh, the Scots just wanted what the Romans had. So, same with Trump. He thinks it's the Mexican issue. It's not really a Mexican issue. It's a Latin American issue with all the migration. And you allowed it for two centuries already here in America. So, here's the problem, President Trump. You build that wall, it's not going to help at all. It didn't help Hadrian. Heck, his empire slowly but surely kept on going down, down, losing territory, down. And after his death in, in uh, 138 AD and his successor, Marcus Aurelius, who ruled till 161 AD, the empire shrunk. By the time of Emperor Constantine in 313 AD, the empire was back to where it was in the Julius Caesar time. All the territory that was gained between Julius Caesar and Trajan, gone. But the problem was not that. And President Trump has the same problem as Hadrian. They don't recognize the problem. By the time of Hadrian's ascension in 117 AD, Rome already had all Tom, Dick, and Harry in its empire. Same as the Americans. They got all Tom, Dick, and Harry in their empire here. And over the centuries from 
Hadrian's ascension in 117 A.D. to Constantine's 313 A.D. Almost two centuries later. Uh, Rome wasn't the same because the Tom, Dick, and Harrys have taken over. And what was Roman under Trajan and Hadrian wasn't considered Roman under Constantine. The army was no good. And remember, what happened? Hadrian built its wall and started taxing the Romans because he had to find the money to sustain the eastern border, sustain the southern border, sustain the northern border, and build his wall. At the end, his wall didn't save. The Scots still came over because he had to, the uh, Romans had to recall their legions from Britain in 410 A.D., so the Scots, you know, they just went over the wall. <laughs> what a wall. And, you know, they, they would always uh, have ex exchanges. Because, remember, when you build a wall, you need people to maintain it. The Romans built forts. They had uh, military personnel there. What's Mr. F uh, Trump going to do? Put personnel or military personnel on the southern border? You see, Americans, this is the problem. You already got the Tom, Dick, and Harry's. Hey. All you have to look at is Alexandria Casio Cortez. And I'm Latin myself. And look at what she's doing to Congress. Look at all the other congressmen. You got Muslims. You got Native Americans. You got everything in Congress. And you say, yippee yahoo, diversity. What does that do to your American ideals? Down the drain. That's what it did to the Romans. You guys got to decide what the heck your American ideals is. And tell the people who are here... And they're here as migrants. Otherwise, they wouldn't have their own way of thinking, their own way of doing, their own way of religion. You cannot do that. It happened to Rome, and it's happening to you. But you guys don't seem to have the brains to realize it. Anyway, thanks.